All right, guys, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you install the latest version of the Sudachi Nintendo Switch emulator for Windows PC. Now, this is going to work for Windows 10 and Windows 11. I'm going to be leaving you all the links that you're going to need in the pinned comment of the video. So the very first link is going to be for my page. So just scroll down the page until you find the wallpaper of the video. Uh, there's going to be two links. The first link is going to be Sudachi emulator download page. The second link is going to be for the latest firmware. Um, the things that I cannot provide are going to be the games and the prod keys. So you're going to need to obtain these on your own. So you're going to need to create a Switch Games folder on your PC uh, in .nsp or .xei formats. Um, at the moment, I do not have a compatibility list. As for the controllers, you can use PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Switch Pro Controller, etc. So please follow along and you shouldn't have any issues. So now for the first link, it's going to be for the latest firmware. So scroll down the page until you find the asset section. You're going to need to download the firmware 20.5.0 zip file. You're going to need to unzip the folder. Uh, using 7-zip or WinRAR. Now the second link is going to be for the Sudachi emulator. So this is going to be the official page. We're going to scroll down on the page. So this is going to be a multi-platform uh, emulator. Uh, you can play it on Android, Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. Uh, resolution scaling, uh, you can adjust the graphics, uh, uh, customizable controls, uh, Vulkan API support, get faster performance, better graphics, lower latency on compatible GPUs. Uh, this is also going to have a high game compatibility, so you can run many of the popular Switch games with continuous improvements. Uh, and this is 100% free, open source, with regular updates. So now we are going to go up to the download section. This is also going to be a zip folder. So you're going to need to unzip it using 7-zip or WinRAR. So now that we have all our files, I have the emulator folder. I have the firmware folder. I have the prod keys folder. And then I have the games folder. So now we're going to load into the emulator. You're going to look for the Sudachi exe file. You're going to double click. So this is going to be the emulator. Uh, first thing we're going to do, we are going to add the games. So just double click on the plus button. Now you're going to look for your games folder. Select it. So I have one game. Uh, next thing we need to do is to install the prod keys and the latest firmware. So you're going to go over to tools, um, install the encryption keys. You're going to find your keys folder. You're going to select prod keys, open. There you go. Uh, successfully installed. Go to OK. Now we're going to go back to tools. Um, install firmware. Now you're going to look for your firmware folder. Select the folder. This shouldn't take too long. So there you go. Now we are running on the latest firmware. Um, if you want to add updates and DLCs, you'd go over to File, um, Install, Files to NAND, and then you'd find your folder with um, updates and DLCs, and then select the folder. Uh, next thing we need to do is to go up to the Emulation section. We are going to go to Configure. So under General, um, everything's fine. Under hotkeys, if you want to change any of the buttons, um, 
if you want to do full screen, you would hit the F11 button. Um, everything else you can leave as is, but this is totally up to you. Under system, um, everything is fine. CPU, make sure this is auto. Under graphics, the API, make sure it's Vulkan. And then devices, this will be your graphics card. Now full screen mode. I'm going to have it as exclusive full screen. Aspect ratio, 16 by 9. As for resolution, I'm going to go all the way up to 3x. But this is totally up to you, depending on your uh, computer and graphics card. Uh, window adapting filter, bilinear, that's fine. Um, everything else is fine. Um, audio, everything is set up. Now controls. Uh, this is where you're going to map out your controllers. Now, I am using a Xbox One controller, so it's already mapped out. If you are using a different controller, you're going to need to map out the buttons, so just keep that in mind. So, connect controller. Uh, make sure that's the Pro Controller. And then, input device. Make sure that your uh, controller is on and paired. So, Xbox One. And then, all the buttons are mapped out. Um, so if there's a button that you don't like and you want to remap it, you can also. Uh, make sure you create a profile and then save it. And then go down to apply. So everything is set up. Uh, now right click on the game. You're going to go to properties. Uh, under the add-ons, this is going to be your updates and DLCs. So this is going to tell you the name of the game, developer, the version of the game. Title ID, the format it's in, uh, the game size, etc. Now to run the game, you just double click on the game and it should run the game. And there you go. Um, like I said, uh, I don't have a compatibility list. So you're just going to have to go through it and uh, play around with it. Uh, so that is the latest version of the Sudachi emulator which is a fork of the Yuzu emulator. Uh, this is going to work for Windows, Mac OS, uh, Linux, and Android. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.